welcome everybody to the first, I would say, pilot episode mm -hmm. of uh, D&D at Cat TV. Uh, my name is Joshua Boucher. I will be the dungeon master for now. And um, right now with me, we have uh, Mike Cutler and William Gardner. They will be uh, my... I prefer William the Destroyer. Okay, William the Destroyer. I'm Grek. And Grek, yes, of course. I'll put the I'll put their names in their uh, mm -hmm. uh, in, in game names. Yours is easier to put on because you don't really have anything too... Too fancy, but Correct. My, Mike's name here is and very it's a little shaky. Looks okay. a little French to me. Yeah. It does. It does. And uh, today we will be starting the adventure of um, Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Now uh, this is going to be a lovely story. I have not dived too deep into it, but I have dived enough into it where I can answer questions and get through the first part of where we'll start today. That's awesome. Um, so nice map here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a lovely map. I'm sure there's gonna be a camera overhead that will um, see it. So um, just a little refresher for you guys. Now. Um, these two over here, I believe, have not played any D and D not too much. So novice. this will be either a very good experience or a very bad experience for some of us. Uh -huh. So um, shall we get started? We shall really dive right in. Well, first of all, how about we introduce your guys' characters? Let's just okay. explain a little bit about yourself. You know, sure. maybe personality, what you, what race you are, yep. and stuff like that. All right. So I am William the Destroyer. As I said, I am a barbarian, uh, level one. I'm dragonborn. Mm. Uh, let's see what else. I have maximum hit points of 14, mm -hmm. armor class 12. Great. Um, it looks like a special ability of an unarmed strike. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, strength 4, dexterity 0. Mm -hmm. that, 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 might, that might come to hurt me. Mm -hmm. uh, constitution 2, intelligence 1. So I'm hoping this fellow over here could, could help with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and wisdom 2. So, yeah. This is a bit of a brute. Yes, you're a bit of a... Bit of a brute. Bit of a front line smashing, um, yep. smash and stall. Exactly. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Well, that's going to be my, my strong point. So. Okay. How about you, sir? I am uh, Grek Relly Holman. Mm -hmm. Holmanion. Bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Ooh, I I'm a high elf. Ooh, that's yes. Nice. Uh, I'm a class of a ranger. Yeah. I got two of strength, one dexterity, okay. negative one constitution. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. negative. I don't want to be negative. And that's plus fine. three intelligence. That's okay, help. Which uh, is above my level. True. In True. real life. Yeah. Uh, got an 11 armor class, a maximum HP of 9, Ooh, okay. and immunities of magical sleep. Ooh. There you go. Um, Interesting. And I can walk 30 feet. Uh, oh, I guess perfect. a minute. Oh. I guess. Yeah, well, Wait, do you have that? I have 30. Yeah, me too. Oh, perfect. Okay. So yeah, um, when we get to more dungeon-y stuff, sure. there, that'll come in handy because there'll be like areas and you'll mm. be able to walk a certain distance mm -hmm. before you can stop. So again, just a refresher, the armor class that you have there, mm -hmm. if uh, someone deals damage to you and it breaks that threshold, you'll take damage. Sure. However, everything under that you won't when you're in a fight. Um, your max HP, or sorry, excuse me, max HP is what is there. If that goes down to zero, then you become unconscious. You're not dead yet, good, good, um, good. but you're on the right there, you see there's some uh, conscious and unconscious decisions that people can either save you or fail to do that. And once there's three um, failures on those, then you are dead. dead. Oh, and then you have to either make a new character a or sit down. Great. Um, but yeah, and uh, we do ha we would have had another member today, but for the sake of um, today, he will be asleep with you guys. He's in yes. part of your party, but he'll be he's a little sleepy today, so yep. he'll just be. Yep. So he had a hard fight before you guys yes. came right. to where right. we're exactly. going. Or so, I think yeah. he might have been in the tavern a little Ooh. too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Well, good good to tell you because that... we're we're gonna start in another tavern. Oh, oh perfect. Right. So not the one. <clears throat> We are going to be starting this journey in the Yawning Portal, which is a big tavern. And you can see on the map, it's actually right. It's around the middle somewhere. Ooh, let's see. It might be. I saw it on the other side. It might okay. be different on this side, but it's around the main the area. Yawning here. Portal. Mm -hmm. It might be on the other side if you flipped it over, actually. But we, we don't. Oh, worry about that. there's another side. Yes, there's another side. Wow. You pick that up. Yeah. Ooh. You want me to flip this over? Sure. Go ahead. Should be on there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I saw it on here before we started. Uh, I want to. Right here. Aha! The Yawning Portal. The Yawning Portal. So this is a nice. This is a very popular tavern that it, it's um, it's very uh, popular in the D and D uh, lore. If you're a big D and D person, this comes up often in some <laughs> stories as it kind of connects a lot of places and all these uh, stories and people together. And this is where we're gonna be starting today. So can we flip this back over first? Nope, you can keep it there. Okay, no problem. Size. That's just this oh. is more of a. Um, Reference for you guys. This is where the story will be taking place sure. mostly. I didn't know so, if one side was totally different. Cool. So, <clears throat> you three 
uh, two of you here, and one of them's asleep, obviously. You dragged him over here. Uh, you all sit around a sturdy wooden table, similar to this, actually. Perfect. Uh, lit by a brightly burning candle, and littered with plates cleared of food and half drained tankards. So you guys had a lovely meal and lovely drinks. Yes, of course. And the sounds of gamblers yelling and drunken adventurers singing body songs and nearly drown out the off-key strumming of a young bard three tables over. You can hear oh, some people. It's a very popular night here at the Yawning Portal. As I said, it's a very popular tavern, so sure. there's always some, some sort of party going on. A hot spot of town. And all of a sudden, as you are drinking, a noise is eclipsed by a shout. You hear someone go, Ya pig, like killing me mates, does ya? And then a seven foot tall half orc is hit by a wild swinging punch from a male human wow. whose shaved head is covered with eye shaped tattoos. So this is kind of getting in a rough situation. Yeah, and as this happens, four other down humans down. stand behind him, ready to jump into the fray. Whoa. The half orc cracks their knuckles, they roar, and they leap at the tattooed figure. But before you can see if blood is drawn, a crowd of spectators kind of crowd around them. Mm. So what do you do? A bar fight just starts, and you two are kind of just watching this. Now, it's your decision if you want to jump in or you want to stay out of it. We've, we've had some, some, <laughs> some alcohol here. True, true. Is this the smartest decision uh, to get Well, I, I, with? even though I'm a barbarian, I'm inclined to sort of kind of see how this plays out a little bit before we enter the fray. Like, it feels like you would want to jump in. Yeah, I, but I'm more, let's... Even yeah. even William the Destroyer is going to kind of... So you're going you're gonna to sit at the table and spectate? I mean, you can't really see. You could also walk up to the crowd of spectators and also do yeah, that. Yeah, I think, I think we'll get a little closer. Yeah, how tall are you? You see over a little bit. That's true. Mm -hmm. I, you, yeah, so he is a dragonborn. He's very big. Yeah, very but big. You, yeah, you go look and see if this is something Okay, yeah, well, we'll get a little closer, but yeah. Okay, you stay out of it though. Okay, no problem. Stay with it. So, you choose not to interfere, and uh, as you watch, you see the troll, or excuse me, the orc, punch the tattooed man out cold, and then he is beaten unconscious oh, by the companions. Dang. All of a sudden, a man jumps out and points at the door. He says, Ow! And the man snarls, and all of the people that were in the fight flee. Mm. This is uh, Durnan, who's actually the bartender okay. of the yeah. establishment. He's a very very popular figure here. He is the person that gives you drinks, and oh. he's a very friendly person. Like him. Mm -hmm. um, but all of a sudden, you notice people start to fight again. There's still people fighting. And it just keeps going on and on for a very long time. But then mm. shouts of alarm suddenly ring out as all of a sudden, a hulking creature, even bigger than the orc, climbs up out of the shaft in the middle of the tap room. It's a monster with warty green skin, Whoa. a tangled nest of wiry black hair, a long carrot-shaped uh, nose, and bloodshot eyes Ooh, as it bears its yellow teeth and howls. You can see that a half dozen bat-like creatures are attached to its body, oh, wow. with three more circling above it. And everyone in the tavern reacts in fear, except for the barkeep, who's Durnan, who shouts, Troll! And as this happens, um, he, the the bar seems to evacuate. Everyone starts to scream. The people are panicking. Ah, there's a troll! troll. I think I want to. Yep. You see, Darnan seem to grab a sword from under his uh, thing and take mm. it, and he wields it. And as you watch the spectators start to leave around you, and it seems like you are all that's left in front of this troll, oh, sure. and Darnan oh, jumps in front of you with a sword. So. I think we got one asleep, and so, the two of us. <laughs> Perfect. Durnan looks at you two and says, "Are you want? Do you want to fight with me?" I say, "Heck yeah!" At this time, yeah. Arrow. At this time, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So I, he he he's he nods approval, but he says, "Listen, here's the deal. I'll take the troll. You take the sturges, Ooh, okay. and the sturges are those little flying bats." Okay, that I think you can hear. Yeah, I'm hoping. And all of a sudden, Durnan leaps into the fray, but. We're in a fight now, so it's time to go. Right. initiative. Let's do it. So first, I will roll first. All right, now you two roll initiative, and this is to decide who gets their turn in the... Um... Roll that, baby. Two. A two. Oh, two. Ooh. Need better than that. I need better than that. A 12. Oh, perfect. Uh, looks like uh, Mike will be going first, yes. actually. All right. Uh, let me just get to my page here. Out with him, Grek. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Grek. All right. Grekarella. Where is the little Sturges? Uh, that's fine. Well, as we start the battle, it seems like these um, little bat creatures, they're not very um, uh, threatening, but mm. they definitely are going to be a problem, especially if they all start to crowd onto Durnan over here. Right. So... 
Uh, let's see. Looks like the only ones that are posing a threat were the ones that were surrounding the troll. Mm. So it seems like they all start to come closer to you, and they actually Ooh. start to come very close to uh, William over here. So, Mike, I think it's your decision on what you want to do here. I can help my buddy out. All right, well, what do you want to do? you got some choices there. You could uh, attack with your... Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I think uh, if I got some arrows, that might really help with these uh, pesky, might, yeah. pesky flying... Things. Okay. You call them? Yeah, they're they're bad. Yes, they're Bats. sturges. And, uh, sturges. If you would like to, yes, they they are at a level where you can swing at them with a weapon or okay. your fist. So well, if you don't want to waste arrows in case sure, you sure, that's true. Uh, perhaps I will uh, take out a nice little sword and okay. do some chopping. All right. Do you have any melee weapons? I believe you do. I think you have something. I got martial weapons and simple weapons. Okay, so that's simple really weapons. Good. So we can we can pull out a little dagger. If okay, we want. yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so uh, let's roll for uh, strength, shall we? Same dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to roll for a strength? What do we got? Eleven. Eleven plus, and then you add your strength to it. Uh, that's two. Thirteen. So, Thirteen. Well, you hit one, so thankfully now you can roll damage. So let's roll right, a d six. Actually, d four would be better, actually, which, which is the triangle one. Okay. Triangle one. Now this is going to be doing damage. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Big damage, big damage. Oh, there you go. Four wow. damage. Wow. How about that? You take a big swing. <laughs> but unfortunately, one's going to retaliate enough. on you, Mike. Oh, so oh, he's oh. got to roll to see if he hits you. All right. So let's see. What is your armor class? Uh, I'm an 11. Ooh, he hits you, Mike. He hits oh. you. Uh-oh. So he's going to take a chomp on you. So oh, That's okay. Uh, you, 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 you just, you just a chomp. Yep. And he only deals one damage. Oh, so whoo. now like, you are at 8 <laughs> HP there, sir. So you want to write down that you're eight? at 8 HP. 8 current. Is that hit, put that yep. in the current? Yep. Just make sure you write it a little smaller, yep. maybe, yeah. just so you don't take, take up all that in. space. Well, yep. now, William, it's your turn. All right. And it's there's three of them around you. The nine, the you nine. know which one attacked uh, Mr. Yep. Mr. Greg over here. Yep. So if Mr. you want to... Uh, and he's hurt. Uh, he is. Hurt. He's, not, he's a little hurt. He took uh, a little yeah, bite. He took a little damage, right? Mm -hmm. Just but a flesh wound. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go for it. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. 14 oh. plus... Very good. Right. 18. That's a hit. That's, that's a big hit. So you should also roll your d4. I'm assuming you're hitting with like a basic weapon. Yeah, that's what I have. Yep. Okay. Ooh, there you go, three damage. And are you attacking the one that uh, Mike hit already? Yes, I think we're gonna we're gonna go okay. with him. All right. <laughs> well, he, that, that one's, that one's buddy. pretty hurt, and it and it actually falls to the ground. Oh, perfect. Yep, he won't be fighting. Again. Um, so Mike, we're back to you. Excellent. So one of them just fell in front of you. We just take got a little bite out of you. So uh, what do you want to do here? Finish him off. All right. Oh, 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 oh 16. Oh, so that's 18. Wow. Hey, you definitely 18. hit that. So yeah, go ahead and roll that All dice. Right. Roll. Three. Three? Three? All right, three damage. So you okay. bop right in the other one, but then it's it's one of them's turned again. It's going to go for William this time. Uh-oh. William, what's your armor I class? Uh, armor class is, where am I at? Twelve. Twelve. Uh, it misses. Ha-ha. Oh. Oh. Ha-ha. All righty, so now it's your turn, sir. Counter strike. There we go. Oh, oh, 23. Whoa, a 19. Excellent. All right, job. so that's going to be a big hit. That's a, that's a big, big hit. Two. Two. Okay. Two okay. damage. Okay. Two okay. damage. So it's it's still hurt. It's still yeah. flying yeah, a little bit. Still, it's still got a little uh, and now we're gonna move back to Mike. And actually, we can take this moment to look at Durnan over here. Oh yeah. He's How's swinging. He doing? Yeah. Swipe after he's swipe with this weapon. Tired, he seems huh? a he's a very strong yeah. fighter. Bartender. He, he he seemed you, you're very surprised at how well he's doing in this battle. It seems There's like more to meet the eye. Yes, yeah, it seems he's very uh, a strange figure. Strange but um, no matter, no matter. We okay. have the subject at hand. So okay. Mike, you want to roll again? I sure fight this will. Man. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Wow, in nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, so these aren't loaded, guys. I that promise. is a twenty-one. All right, and you definitely deal damage. Yeah, these triangle ones are a little like a little harder to roll. Yeah. Two, okay, two. two. All right, and that one goes down. All right. Well, now there's one left, and he's a little angry, so he's gonna go he's for Mike for taking coming. out his buddy. Uh, Mike, your AC was oh uh, eleven. Okay. Well, it does hit. Oh. No. So oh. I need that D four over oh. there. Oh. And let's see how much damage you take. Careful. Ooh, another damage. Just one damage. Mm. Just one okay, damage. one, just one. Seven, does that go down to seven? Okay, go down to seven. Yep. Okay. All right, William. You just, yep. um, you yeah. gotta retaliate, yeah. man. Do you have yeah. any special, also, I should mention, oh, yeah. you guys have special abilities right. in your, uh, I do have an unarmed strike. I think on your second page, you actually have access oh. to some stuff. Oh, I do have an unarmed strike as well. Uh, yes. I think that some of them are restricted to certain levels, but I, I have think a rage. You have a rage? Okay, so that's like, uh, if you get low health, you get, uh, okay. you don't die, I think, for gotcha. a couple turns. Uh, I can see in darkness. Oh, very good. That is going to be helpful. If you don't got anything, you can go for another... Yeah, I don't uh, see... 
Um, beasts. Much. Very proficiency in these hit points. No, I'm pretty empty on these pages here. All right, I'm going for it. All right. 12. That's a 16. Yep. Perfect, you hit, so roll uh, for some damage. What's this thunderclap? That's a spell name? I don't think so. Cantrip? Oh, yeah, it's a spell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thunderclap. Four, four damage. Wow. Oh my god. Ah. Amazing. Nice. All right, well, it's getting hurt, Mike, so I, I say you finish yeah, off. We gotta we can, do that. We gotta do that. Get this feller. Oh, oh, yeah. 18. Oh, oh yeah, that's, oh. A, that's a 20, but oh. uh, not that 20, but it's all right. We got this. Oh, oh my and god. And it falls four. to the ground, defeated. Fine job, sir. Thank you. Very Thank good, you. very good. Now, as you dealt with those, Dice it seems that uh, Duranan also is at the end of his battle as the troll uh, falls to the ground. Oh. And uh, the crowd starts to come back. They start cheering, yeah, you yeah, Durnan. What do you go, Durnan? And uh, drinks all around. And, and yeah, everyone everyone and, starts and to celebrate a bit. And then all of a sudden, you notice that um, a man starts pushing through the crowds. Mm. He says, out of the way, out of the way. And he pushes through, and he comes up to you two. And he says, you two, you're adventurers, are you? Mm, of course. Yes. Oh, perfect. I saw you deal with those sturges. It looks like that you could be able to help me. Shall we find a table to talk? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Fetch me a mug of ale. All right. And uh, Darnan says, all right. The pail of ale for you. One for all. He gives everyone around on him for the As you ought to. Can you help him? You know? Yeah. And you, you all sit down. And uh, you is notice he okay? You're coming, yes, he's okay. He's, he's, he's very good. stable. Yeah. It's, he's, he did not even take a scratch. Wow. He's a very, he's a very uh, well... Adjusted well to do bartender. Now this man sits down, and uh, you get your your ale and your drinks, mm -hmm. and um, he goes to he takes a sip, and he goes, "Let me introduce myself. My name is Volothon, or excuse me, Volothamp uh, Gadarm. I am a very uh, popular figure mm -hmm. in uh, Waterdeep. Uh, I'm so I wouldn't be surprised if you haven't heard of me." He looks at you too. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm. Mm. Gotta say no. Mm. That's a sham. Are you out? Are you out of towners? Have we come from out of town? I think we are. We yeah. we come from many places. Many places. Oh, yes, oh, oh, yes you're adventurers. Yes, I don't yes, doubt yes, that. Yes, 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 of course. Yes. And uh, he twists. He has a mustache. He twists his mustache oh. and he says, "I'm a chronicler, a wizard, and a celebrity at mm. your service. Oh. And I trust you've noted that the violence in this uh, fair city these past ten days have been a little little aggressive. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of a lot of violence out of nowhere. Yes. And I haven't seen so much blood since my last visit to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he starts laughing. <laughs> Baldur's Gate. Yeah, 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 that's fine. He, 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 We're just going kind of awkwardly, with him. You awkwardly going laugh on? with him. You <laughs> awkwardly <laughs> laugh with him. Ah, <laughs> yes, oh, but um, <laughs> now I fear I have misplaced one of my friends mm. amid this uh, odious malevolence. Mm. My friend's name is Falloon uh, Blagmar. He's got more beauty Ooh. than brains, and I worry he's taken a bad way home a couple nights mm. ago, and he was kidnapped, or maybe even worse. Mm. Now, if you agree to track him down, mm -hmm. with all due haste, I can offer you two, or sorry, excuse me, ten gold pieces right now. Mm, wow. And I can give you each ten times that when you find him and bring him back. So that's a hundred gold pieces when you find him and bring him back. Wow. And ten gold pieces right now if you accept. Wow. May I prevail upon you in my hour of need? Hmm. Now, who is with us? It's just us and just this gentleman? Just you two and the, your, your other companions sleepy. asleep on the, the side. And the bartender is it's, not privy to he's this? Not, he's not. He's a sleepy man. What, what do you think, fine uh, I, fellow? I think, why not? We need the cash. I was contemplating maybe chatting now, with the bartender to get some more information mm, about this fellow. Mm, okay. But, but. You can, you you can also, um, your other things on the side, you have, uh. Yeah, is this maybe? You have perception and insight yep. and investigation. Right. You can yeah. roll those That's things. That's right. intelligence yes. here. Yes. Um, and you can do all this stuff whenever you want, whenever it's Thank your you. turn. Thank you. And, um, you can get, that's how you get information. You can also talk to other people. You can talk to him. You can ask him questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you have all these possibilities. I'm not just the only one yeah. that can make decisions I, I, around here. I would like to maybe ask him a few questions before sure, we okay. get involved here. So well, what would you like to ask him? You can also you can also use these questions more uh, if you had charisma. Maybe if you like mm, ten gold pieces. Mm, you got yeah, but I, think I, I got none. I got no charisma. I didn't have wisdom though. No. And remember those little uh, indicators on the side there. Those are also options you have that have bonuses. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'd like to learn a little bit more about his friend. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what? What? What was the man his... that's missing? The man yes. that's missing. Mm -hmm. Well, again, uh, his name is. Um, remember this? It's Floon Blagmar. Floon uh, Blagmar. Uh -huh. And um, 
He's a very handsome human male, okay. just like okay. me. Yeah, you know, oh, exactly. He's very similar to me. He yep. has red, blonde, wavy mm -hmm. hair. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was dressed very nicely in a princely garb, very look royalty like. Ooh, sounds like a hostage honey, honey. situation. Um, yes. And then two nights ago, before he disappeared. He and I were drinking and merrymaking at the uh, Skewer Dragon, which is another tavern in town. Skewer um, Dragon. And uh, it's a uh, close to the, or it's in the Dock Ward. Oh, if you need to find that. down here. And yeah. I recommend that you guys actually start there to uh, maybe start your investigation. Sure, we're just yeah. we're, we're right at the Yawning Portal. We just ventured okay. just a, a little bit south of Quebec. Okay. Yep, mm -hmm. just a tad. But you want to learn more about his, well, we learned about his friend. We learned a little bit about his friend. Uh, maybe one more question. Uh, what what were you gentlemen doing? Are, are you the last person to see this fellow? I believe so. I, me and him were having a wonderful night drinking and partying with the lovely patrons down in the Skewer Dragon. Mm -hmm. And I decided to leave early due to my, uh, I was not feeling very good after lots of drinks. And I decided to go home, but then I did not see him the day after. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone that may... Have, a, have an issue with him? Any, any enemies that mm. that that may be uh, we should be concerned with? Mm -hmm. You can roll. You could probably roll um, maybe investigation. Okay, that. happy so, to do that. So uh, I take a d20 and do that. That's what he's right. Oh, you could. No, oh, that was a little bit smaller, isn't it? Oh, eleven. Do you have any bonuses? Well, this would be for investig. It's just investigation on the mini one. I have a plus one. Okay, so twelve. Well, he's twiddling his mustache and he says, mm, Well, I guess I have to admit, I might have gotten him in trouble. Oh. But I don't want to discuss everything that happened. Now, he was at the tavern, but unfortunately, after I departed, I believe I saw someone go up to him. I believe it was an acquaintance of his. Uh, I believe his name is uh, Rene Neverember. Mm. And uh, I left the two of them alone. Hmm. And then I noticed while I was walking away that a couple other people started to enter the building. And beknownst to me, I was getting a little afraid, of course, and I wasn't feeling too well, so I just decided to leave. And I feel very bad now, but I was hoping some great adventurers could go down there and find him for me. Can you say that name again? Rene? What did you say? Oh, Rene. yes, his name was um, Rainier. Rainier. R E N A E R. Never Ember. Yes. R A what? R E N A E R. A E R. Never Ender? Never Ember. Never Ember. Now, if I do assume, I bet they took him to that old warehouse in the dock ward so they could question him. Mm -hmm. But, unfortunately, um, his father is a very wealthy and scary figure, so I didn't even want to think about what could happen after that. Oh. So, I want you uh, adventurers to go and uh, do a little investigating, <sighs> perhaps a little fun. Do we have enough information? Shall we press them once more? You have you have a high... Investigation? Mm -hmm. I do, I have three. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose probably a little extra. One more, maybe? Pushing of question? Sure. Okay, what would you like to ask? Maybe where we can find this... this well, we said the dock. Mm -hmm. This person? Oh, this, this person that he was last seen with him? Yeah. Is it Rainier the uh, bad person? He is. Um, he met. He was a man that came. Uh, you said an acquaintance. acquaintance. Yeah, he, oh, uh, an acquaintance. Okay. He came so up we to might him. want to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Is yes. what I'm thinking. So I maybe, gotcha. where maybe, maybe is where he is. Maybe Rainier. where he can Why? be found. I don't know where he is either. Last I said was those two were the last I've seen them mm -hmm. since that night. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they took him too. I don't know. I don't even know if he has anything to do with it. All right. Well, you said we need the gold. I say we go forth. Okay, we'll go forth. Splendid. We accept your out. offer. Takes out two um, pouches of gold, ten pieces each. You give it to each of you, so you can actually Ooh. add to your gold uh, ten, ten gold pieces. Ooh, ten gold pieces. Mm -hmm. And he says, I will give each of you 100 gold pieces when you give, bring him back safely. Now, like I said, I believe the best place to start would be the Skewer Dragon, that uh, lovely tavern. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's between Net Street and Filet Lane in the Duck Ward. I will leave this to you. I don't really have much else to say. All I can say is, uh, you should get going very soon before it's too late. Okay. Where are we adding the gold to? Uh, there should be like a, uh, what's the word? That character decks? Uh, you can probably just add it to your inventory if you want, but there usually, I thought there was a uh, money, money like. Would it be uh, GP? Gold yeah, pieces? gold piece. Mm -hmm. oh, no, second page. Second page. 
Oh, way over here. GP, okay. Mm -hmm. So you said 10 right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Well, you are, you can go off if you would like. Would you like to start immediately? Do you want to ask a couple questions to the bartender, or do you just want to get out there and get your 100 gold each? I say we talk with the bartender. Okay. okay. Well, you uh, walk up to uh, Darnan. He uh, notices Great you, job. of course. He says, oh, thank you for the help. Oh, uh, that sure is. I, I didn't catch your names. What, what was your names? I'm Grek. Grek. William Grek. the Destroyer. William the Destroyer. Yeah. Well, I hope to see you around this tavern more often. Yes, of course. Uh, it was a it was a noble battle, it was. But uh, unfortunately, mm. the party has to continue. Mm. Mm -hmm. Always does. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you can ask him some questions. You can... oh, I think we would ask him... Uh... Are we familiar with this gentleman who just uh, Correct. approached us? Oh, uh, what was his name again? Um, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, but... Vo uh, Volofam, that was his name. Yes, Volo. yes. Volo for short, yes. He's Volo. a he's a celebrity. Volo. There's like a quotation mark. Celebrity around here. He he has money, but he's not always good for it. But he usually he pays usually. Did, did he pay you to do anything? Did he send you on a mission? He did, he did. Okay. Well, he yes, did. that's normal. I'm sure he gets into some trouble sometimes, but... Uh, he usually has he's good intentions, of course. So um, is he a trustworthy character? Uh, I would say sort of fellow. Somewhat. Mm. I what what is he making you do? Is he going to go kill somebody? We or? need to go find a missing friend of his. Oh, that's a new one. Well, I believe he should be okay. I hope he didn't send you somewhere scary. Of course. Oh, we're going down the docks. The dock ward. Oh, okay. You might you might encounter some trouble down there. Be but, ready. Uh, be ready. Okay. I think you'll be okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, like I um, said before, gentlemen, uh, if you want to go on your quest, uh, please feel free to come back to the Yawning Portal anytime for any drinks. Oh, thank, thank you, you fine fellow. Yes. Yes. Have a lovely evening. We're full of ale. We're ready to go. All righty. Yeah. All right. So as you two start your little uh, pursuit down to the dock ward, now this is your chance to, um, <laughs> would you like to explore a little of the city? Do you just want to go straight there? Do you want to explore a strange place? Uh, Hmm. You could just get it done. Go straight to the Skewer Dragon. You could explore the city a little bit. You could always come back and explore the city if you want. I think maybe we should we venture to the other tavern. That's that, see if there's a, that's any, where, uh, anyone of interest. That's where he asked you to go first. So okay. yeah, the Skewer sure. Dragon. Okay, we'll go to the Skewer Dragon. I don't know where that is. Well, it's, it's um, still in the Dock Ward. It's though, in the Dock Ward. Yep. Yeah, it's he told you the it's streets not, for it. Not here. But. Mm -hmm. Uh, the way of the dragon. So, you eventually make your way to the Skewer Dragon, and you face an alley that runs between Net Street mm -hmm. and Filet Lane in the Dock Ward, not far from the old Zolblob shop, which is a oh. very strange place, like uh, I mentioned before. Now, the Skewer Dragon looks like a ruin, and both of its mm. front-facing windows are smashed, mm. and a ship's anchor is lodged in the roof. <laughs> but you can see through the windows a group of haggard patrons drinking from huge tankards, so it seems like it's in perfect condition. Perfect, great. <laughs> So uh, you walk inside, and um, there's, like I said, there's some strangers in there. You can talk to some. You can bribe some if you want. You can talk to the bartender. It's up to you. I say we talk to the bartender. That's All right. a Welcome good source of information, I think. It's another. Uh, it's a bald, short little man. He says, uh, what can I get for you? Oh, fetch me and my friend a pint of ale. Yes. Mm. He gets you two some ale. He pops it on the table. Uh, what would we like to ask him? I think we're, uh, we're here looking for uh, a gentleman Maybe that uh, was not gentleman. seen the last two days. What's that? Oh, a missing gentleman. Yes, oh, a, that's, prin that's a princely, terrible. a guy of princely nature. A, a princely? Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, his name I don't right think now. I've seen Who anybody you? around no, here. No, that's not my name. Sorry. That's his friend. I don't think I've seen anybody around here with that. Uh, oh. Name. Yeah, oh, oh, pieces. oh, well, we, we would happy to pay you for your information yeah, if, oh. if, if you so desire, sir. Uh, you want to roll a uh, charisma check, both of you? Sure. Is that the big one? Yep. Still? Always this one? D20. You can do that too. Mm -hmm. Charisma! 14. Okay. okay. Both, and I've got nothing to add. Go ahead. I've got nothing to add to it, so. Oh, perfect. Mm, I think that'll do. So if I could have one have gold too? piece. Jesus. One gold piece, you say? Yes, Absolutely, please, uh, sir. Very good. And that'll also pay for your drinks. Oh, oh. <coughs> You're giving him the gold piece, then? I think we both. No, just one. Just one gold okay. piece. Yeah. So uh, now you have nine gold yep. pieces. And oh, he sits cake, down please. next to you and he goes, <laughs> <clears throat> Well, several of the regulars here remember seeing, what, what, was it a redhead figure? Oh. 
Yes. I yes. Oh, yes. very good. Yes. 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 I remember this freaking. He was very uh, good looking, like yes. Yes. dungeon master. Yes. yes, very handsome, yes. I believe. Yes. yes. I remember he was uh, drinking with uh, another man, and then uh, mm -hmm. he left, I believe, and another one came along. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I believe the name was Renair. Was that correct? That Do you know that? Yes. Yes. Familiar, yes. yes. Okay. So after, uh, let's see, I think the, there was two men that were redheads and one of them left. Was he Volo, I believe? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. yes. So after Volo left, um, his friend stuck That's around good. and he met with another friend, Renair. And he is the son of Waterdeep's previous open lord, Ooh. Dagult Ooh. Neverember. He's a big deal. Say that one more time. His name was no. Dagult, uh, D-A-G-U-L-T, or Dagult, mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce it. Never remember. As you as you, as you say that name, uh, yep, one of the patrons remember. screams, "Chip it off the old block, that one!" Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just another spoiled rich noble who likes to rub our noses in it. Ah ha 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 ha! Those are good voices. Pipe down. The two of them drank and played a few rounds of uh, some games, and before leaving around midnight, five men followed them out. Mm. And no one in the tavern. No one was happened after that. Hmm. And the men who shortly or left shortly after, uh, they haven't returned to the tavern since, but they're known to frequent a warehouse on Candle Lane. Oh, what lane? Candle Lane, I believe. And uh, there should be a snake symbol on the door that can might help you out for where they are. And that's all I can say about that. Candle Lane, you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, found it. Yes, Candle Lane. That's where you'll find the warehouse with a snake emblem on it. And from there, I believe you'll be able to find all the information you need. Candle lane. Snake, snake. symbol? Mm -hmm. On the door? Uh, it's on the, uh, yes, on the door. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. And that's all the information I know. Well, You've been very helpful, sir. Yes, yes of course. Enjoy your drinks. And, and your uh, ale is pristine. Well, for, thank you, sir. I've been trying to keep a good establishment, but uh, yes, I suggest you... If you need to find him, you better go quick. Okay, well, let's go quick. Chugging. All right, as you walk down to Candle Lane, I believe it's very close to where you guys are. Uh, yeah, Drakkar Street, right there. The buildings on the sides of this lane are so tall, they're so packed together, that light barely touches the street. And it's only, dark. you need some, you, thankfully you have a candle with you and a light. Hey, light that's thankfully I can see in the dark. And oh, you can see in the dark, oh, yes. So you're, no you problem see everything. But unfortunately, William, William the Destroyer here is... I'm just going to hang on to his coattails, I think. Yeah, bump into things. Now as you go into this alley, the gloom envelops it as a, it becomes as dark as a dungeon. Mm. And as odorous as one, too. Mm. Whew. Mm. Being you, Will. Is that you? And nearly Not all me. the street lamps have been smashed. Mm. But the only light that pierces the darkness is a faint flickering down the lane. Look like a candle. And as you continue down this street, you do notice it is there's one street lamp left mm. with a light that seems to be on permanently. Does it doesn't seem to go out. And on the warehouse door, sure enough, there is a snake symbol on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now uh Bartender you could try to roll for an intelligence check to see if you understand what this symbol is, maybe. Would you, would you want to try that first? Or you roll an intelligence? Sure. Do it. Sure. Go ahead. I'm feeling intelligent. Okay. Right. What do we got? 10. Maybe and then not. You can add your uh, 13. intelligence points. 13. Well, you do understand, actually. <laughs> you remember, this is the symbol of the Zentarum. Mm. Now, it looks like... Uh, Spell that out for me. Uh, Z-H-E-N-T-A-R-I-M. Okay, sorry. I was writing snake symbol. Say that one more time. Z-H-E-N-T-A-R-I-M. M. Yep. Now, uh, as you approach this, you notice it's a two-story warehouse. Um, there are many buildings like this down in Waterdeep, and it stands at the back of an outer yard behind a fence, and the gate on the fence isn't locked. The building's three points of entry. You can see a front door. You can see a large warehouse loading door. Mm. And there's also a painted over window, but that is locked, it looks like. Now, the front door looks like has a sliding peephole that can be opened from the inside. Um, either of the windows can be unlocked if you uh, try to lock pick them, perhaps. Ooh. Uh, or you can forcefully open it with a strength or athletics check. Um, now you can also try to uh, avoid making much noise. Remember, you're here stealthily, yep. so I've got three noise. plus stealth. Yeah, perfect. And um, you can notice there's some people in there already, um, but I think 
that's where we're gonna call it today, because this will be the yeah, first ooh. dungeon of the we're adventure. We're getting right into we're the meat right the, the right right hangar. Right into this little dungeon ooh, here. All right. Oh, excellent. Awesome. Well, gentlemen, it looks like we have a brilliant introduction here. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned a couple names. We had a little fight. Yes, We've nuts. gotten some uh, gold, of course, and you can eat yes. even more gold. Yeah. But I think starting before a um, dungeon is a perfect place because I'm sure you're going to encounter some baddies and I maybe some goodies so. too. Oh, goodies. Nice. Baddies. You can get some help. Yeah. We have we have some coin too. And, and maybe things. by the time we enter the dungeon, our, our sleepy friend, our sleepy friend yes. will wake up yes. and, and join us yes. for this fight. Perhaps. I'm, Perhaps. I'm sure he wants to. But uh, he, he's very sleepy today. He's yes. very he, sleepy. He had a long, long yeah, it's uh, like fight. like the dwarf, sleepy yeah. dwarf. Yes. Well, I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank our yes. dungeon master thank here dungeon and master. Uh, the folks that are still watching uh i think this <laughs> this is uh it's more exciting. you know it's, it's our attempt to sort of bring this world to other folks yes. uh who may be watching like we said mike and i are complete, oh, complete novices mm -hmm. um, hopefully some folks at gamers grotto yes yeah, so if like yeah. oh i should have mentioned that i should say that i got this book and other books just like it, including the handbook to teach you and play more adventures at uh, the Gamers Grotto here on Main Street in Bennington. Cool. And um, they have lots of opportunities to even play games there. So if yep, you are nice. interested in that, please check in with them and um, you can have I your own adventure you of your what own. What did you want to say you are going to finish and I cut you off? I just wanted to say that, you know, it's it's our hope that throughout mm -hmm. the next weeks and months and perhaps year that we can kind of grow this mm -hmm. and maybe we'll have some participation from the, the folks sure. out in TV land. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really just an opportunity to explain what this is and and how to play it yes. and uh, and get some people excited and involved. Hey, and if not, you can here. play a nice little D&D game here at Cat TV. Have a little fun. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So D&D at, at, at Cat TV. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next episode when we venture into this strange warehouse. Ooh, can't wait. Ooh. Ooh.